In this video, we're gonna learn how to implement a very common UI concept known as swipe to delete. It is mostly used in mobile applications as a way to remove items from a list. If you haven't heard about it or you want to learn how to do it with Unity, keep watching. I already prepared a scene with a scroll view. Inside of it, I placed a vertical layout group with a few items. The goal of this tutorial is to implement a script that will allow us to drag a cell, swipe it to the right and remove it from the list if the cell was dragged by a required distance. Let's expand the single cell to see how it looks. And as you can see, it has a bottom view and a top view. The implementation will be very simple. We are gonna move the top view to the right and this way reveal the bottom view. In my case, the top view is an image with a text component and a bottom view is an image with a bin icon. In your games, you can design it however you want. All right, I think we can get started with the implementation. Let's create a new script and name it swipe to delete behavior. And then let's open it. We can remove the start and update methods. We won't need them. Instead, we want to import Unity Engine event systems component. So let's write using Unity Engine event systems. And then we can implement interfaces that will inform us about the drag events. We want to know about start, finish, and move event. So let's implement I begin drag handler I drag handler and I end drag handler. On begin drag method will be triggered when we press the left mouse button with a cursor over the object. On drag will be triggered if we move the cursor still holding the left mouse button. And on end drag method will be invoked once we release the left mouse button. Now we need to add a reference variable to the top view. So let's write public transform top view. We also have to define two vector tree variables and those will be mouse start position and top view start position. We will use them to calculate a new position of the top view. Now we can go ahead and start with the implementation of the on begin drag method. Here we want to store the mouse cursor position and the position of the top view. So let's write mouse start position is equal to input dot mouse position and top view start position is equal to top view dot local position. Next, let's move on to the on drag method. We need to calculate the horizontal distance between the mouse start position and its current position, and then move the top view by that distance. So let's create a distance variable with a value of input dot mouse position minus mouse start position. And with that, we can calculate a new X position of the top view. So let's take the start position x and add a max value of zero and distance x. We use the max method here because we want to move the top view only to the right. So if the distance is smaller than zero, we will just use zero instead. Then we can update the top view position. So I'm gonna write top view dot local position is equal to new vector tree. And on the x axis, we use the new position x variable. And on the y and z axis, we just use values from the start position variable. And now we can move on to the on end drag method. Here, depending on the drag distance, we want to either remove this object or bring top view to the start position. Let's copy paste the distance variable from the on drag method. And if that distance on the x axis is greater than 100, then we destroy this game object. Otherwise, we set the top view local position to its start position. And now we can go back to the Unity. We have to add our script to the cell object and set up a reference to the top view. I will just edit the cell prefab. This way it will be applied to all the cells in the list. Once that is done, we can hit play. As you can see, we can drag the top view and reveal the bottom view this way. And if I release the mouse button and the horizontal drag distance is large enough, then the item is being removed. And if I drag it by just a little bit, then it goes back to its start position. 
There is still one more thing to do. Right now, if we try to scroll the list, nothing is gonna happen. That's because currently our list items consume all the drag events and the scroll view doesn't know about the vertical drag. We can fix that by passing drag events to the scroll view if we discover that the drag is vertical, not horizontal. So let's go back to the code. We need to define a few more variables. First, let's create two float variables, horizontal drag minimum distance and vertical drag minimum distance. This will be compared with the mouse movement distance to determine whether the drag is horizontal or vertical. And then we need two more variables. This time it's gonna be private bool horizontal drag and private bool vertical drag. This will hold the results of the calculations from the previous variables. Now we can move on to the onbegin drag method. As I mentioned before, we need to inform the scroll view about drag events. And to do it, we are gonna use execute events class. It has a method called execute hierarchy, which pass the event to the first object in the hierarchy that can handle that event. So let's write execute events dot execute hierarchy. And as a first parameter, we have to use parent of this game object. Then we need to pass an event data and in the last parameter, we have to specify event function, which in this case is begin drag handler. That's it for this method. We can now update the on drag method. And here we need to check if the mouse x distance is greater than horizontal drag minimum distance or the mouse y distance is greater than vertical minimum drag distance. So let's write if both horizontal drag and vertical drag is false, then if distance x is bigger than horizontal drag minimum distance, we set horizontal drag to true and we return from this method. Otherwise, if the absolute value of distance y is greater than vertical drag minimum distance, we set vertical drag to true and also return from this method. In this case, we check the absolute value of y distance because we want to scroll vertically in both directions. And now, if the horizontal drag is true, we want to change the position of the top view. And if the vertical drag is true, we want to pass the drag event to the scroll view. So let's wrap the position changing code in the if statement with the horizontal drag variable. And otherwise, if the vertical drag is true, we want to pass the drag event to the scroll view. So I will copy paste the execute hierarchy method and just change the last parameter to the drag handler. And inside the on end drag method, we need to put the existing code into the if statement with the horizontal drag condition. And outside of it, we set both the horizontal drag and the vertical drag variables to false and also pass the drag event to the scroll view, but this time with the end drag handler as a last parameter. And that's it. We can now go back to the Unity and check how it works. And as you can see, it works great. We can both remove the items with the horizontal drag and scroll the list. That would be it for this tutorial. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, leave a like and subscribe this channel.